With all the rain we've been getting recently, we not only have the grass growing rapidly, but invasive weeds are also taking off. Tonight we show you how to spot some of those weeds in our latest segment of Gardening Tips. Hi, this is Stephen Seafelt with your next um, installment of Gardening Tips. And this week we're going to talk about invasive plants. Well, this one's white sweet clover. It's a biennial plant. And the first year, it's very small, it's hard to see, and it puts all its growth into building up roots. And then after winter, it takes off, and it's the large plant that you see over here that uh, we typically see the white sweet clover as. This plant is narrowleaf hawksbeard. Um, it's widespread all over the world. It's a recent introduction to Fairbanks. And you'll see all four of these plants are narrowleaf hawksbeard, and they get from very small to very large. They all flower. They belong to the same family as a dandelion. Bird vetch you can uh, identify easily because of these beautiful blue flowers. Um, this plant was introduced by the university a long time ago. Um, it since has escaped cultivation. It's a climbing plant and it has little tendrils and that's how you can tell it from the other native plants that have these beautiful blue flowers. Okay, this last invasive plant is a grass plant and it's um, quack grass. You may have heard it by name. It sends out roots that actually develop into new plants, and you can see that down here at the bottom. Again, this plant is, is just starting to set seed now, so when you pull it, bag it up and take it to the transfer station. Well, that's five different invasive plants that were in the parking lot of the Cooperative Extension Building. There are plenty more species out there, but hopefully this has given you some ideas of some plants to go out and pull. Um, Next week, we're going to be at Basically Basil, and um, we'll do a series of shows out there. So see you next week. Gardening Tips, brought to you by Fairbanks Stump Grinders and by Midnight Sun Family Medicine.